Right, I've got an excellent new piece of equipment to show you today, and it's this HD Endoscope. It's the InScam 112 HD 4.3 inch display screen endoscope or handheld bore scope. It's for industrial and home use. It comes well packaged in this box here with this dense type foam which holds each part and you have the choice of a five meter um, cable camera or a one meter one and I've got the one with the one meter cable camera this one has six LEDs and they're fully interchangeable with the other InScam endoscopes so when you pull this out from the box there's a separator in between the two halves and the box like I say is a really good quality box and the foam housing so you can actually use this one for transportation and storage for the actual endoscope. This half here has the main body of the endoscope and this one has a lithium ion battery already installed and also this half has the main 4.3 inch screen. The LCD screen has a screen protector on it. I've taken mine off and is a very simple method of actually connecting it to the main housing. You put the rectangle part on there and slide it down until it clicks into place like that. And to remove it is just simply slide it up and take it off. In this side of the foam box you have the main um, camera cable like I've just shown, a USB cable, some tools to go on the end of the camera and the instruction or user's manual. The user's manual is very well written and easy to understand it's just two sides of the paper like this I actually found that I could actually turn on the unit and do all the settings without having to look at the user's manual because the actual um, setup on this one is so easy to use the camera is connected to the uh, front of this unit here and there's a little red dot on the top here and you line that one up with the indent on the actual plug socket so find that one and push that one in like that and then just screw the collar home and that's the camera installed And when you first get the endoscope, you have to use the USB cable to give it a full charge. There's a nice rubber um, opening here for the actual charging port and the TF card slot. And that one fits really nice, pushes back in place so it actually won't fall out. The USB cable is only used for charging, it's not used for transferring data. And the lithium ion battery needs a full charge before using so when you get it put it on charge and leave it for about four hours it says in the instructions. The lithium battery is a 18650 3.7 volt 2600 milliamp type so they're easy to get hold of and obviously you could take this off and change that one if you ever needed to. And the battery working time on a full charge is 3.5 hours. The kit comes with this set of tools here in this small plastic container. And the camera has a very fine thread on the end. There's a screw collar obviously to protect the thread. Then there's a rare earth magnet which you can actually use to retrieve items. Say you drop a nut down an engine or whatever. You can retrieve that with that one and then you have um, a hook for retrieving certain items or getting to certain items and then there's um, a 90 degree mirror which screws on the end there. 
So they call this a snake tube camera and it's all metal construction as are the tools that go on the end. The thread is nicely cut and close fitting and I haven't actually found that it will cross thread at all. And it screws on a nice long way so that you actually won't lose those tools. So when you actually remove the um, tools that go on the end there, it's best to put the collar back on the end there to actually protect the thread when you're putting it down bores or whatever. And this is what the tools look like close up. So to turn the endoscope on, there's a button at the top here and it's a long press on that one. And then you can quickly go into the menu when you've turned it on. So firstly you have the resolution and you have the choice between 1080p, 720p or VGA. Then you can set the date and time. So OK on that one, I've set that already. You just go through the various different settings like that. Then you can have the date stamp on your photos or video, the brightness, format, space, language, default setting and version. So like I say, it's all dead easy and quick to set up. And then to actually turn the camera lights on and adjust the brightness, it's this one here. So that's the lights lit up in the end of the camera there. And you can actually see how brilliant that is on that small lettering on the box there. And then on this side here you can actually take photos. A long press of this one changes it to or changes it to video mode. And back again with a long press so you can just go back to photos again. And I find the actual camera is excellent for looking inside um, electrical components. It's great for actually looking um, around the lathe and uh, in hard uh, points to actually get to in the lathe to see the condition of components or whatever. And I think it's an absolute excellent piece of care. And this is just looking inside one of my VFDs. So this is just given an example looking in this um, VFD, but obviously you can use them in the automotive um, trade. 
great for working on different engines you can actually look down inside bores of um, engines and cylinders and you can have a look at all the different components and um, the condition of components plus they're excellent for looking down drains to see if there's any blockages or whatever or see whether there's a uh, wherever there is a blockage and it really is industrial quality the actual body is made of tough ABS plastic and it's actually nice to hold and it works absolutely brilliantly. And just one thing, the uh, USB cable obviously doesn't um, transfer data to this or from this one to the computer. It's just for charging, but you can actually just take the TF card out and put it into the um, card slot on the computer and download the photos and video like that. And I hope to use mine sometime to get some ultra close um, tool cutting shots on the lathe. I'm going to put this one very close um, on a bracket of some type, magnetic stand or whatever, and see the different um, cutting effects of different tools. Plus another great thing on the lathe to use them for is to actually check the spindle bore and the empty tapers that they're clean before inserting any tools. So I think it's an excellent piece of kit and well worth the money. And it's really worth actually looking on the Banggood listing at this one. It's a very good listing and it gives all the details. I forgot to mention that the actual camera right the way up to this point here is fully waterproof.